tends to 0. Sin x by x into 1 plus cos x is e. Limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n by n square is b. Then option a is a is equal to b. Option b is a is equal to 2b. Option c is 2a is equal to b and option d is a is equal to 1 by 2 and b is equal to 0. Dear students, you would have understood the basics of limits when you were in first PUC. I hope your memory is sharp enough to recall few of the concepts. Limit x tends to 0, sin x by x is equal to 1. Limit x tends to 0, tan x by x is equal to 1. Limit x tends to 0, sin ax by sin bx or limit x tends to 0, sin ax by bx or that is equal to limit x tends to 0, tan ax by bx or that is equal to limit x tends to 0, tan ax by tan bx or that is equal to limit x tends to 0, sin ax by tan bx, all these are equal to a by b. One thing I would love to stress you here is limit x tends to 0, sin x by x is equal to 1. I will make a shortcut here dear students. Limit x tends to 0, sin x by x is equal to 1. Instead of that I will write limit x tends to 0, sin x is equal to x, sin x tends to x. That means to see I will be using this shortcut often in chapter called limits and continuity. Limit x tends to 0, wherever I have sin x. I will write it as x. That is the freedom I am taking here. Because when limit x tends to 0, sin x by x tends to 1. Limit x tends to 0, tan x by x is equal to 1. So, wherever we have tan x, I will replace it by x. Under the condition limit x tends to 0 only. That is condition number 1. Second thing we have to talk is, limit x tends to 0, cos x is equal to 1. So, using these two, let us evaluate the value of a. What is a, dear students? What is a? a is sin x by x into 1 plus cos x. That is, limit x tends to 0. Sin x by x into 1 plus cos x is x by x into 1 plus cos x. See how simple it is. x by x into 1 plus cos x. x, x cancels put x is equal to 0, we will get 1 by 1 plus cos 0. What is 1 plus cos 0? Cos 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, a is given by 1 over 2. I hope dear students, you have understood this. Now, coming to the second part, we got a is equal to 1 by 2. So, we cannot conclude what is the answer. So, before talking about this dear students, let me give you a small hint. Let me introduce a small concept here. Limit n tends to infinity or limit x tends to infinity f of x over g of x. If you have f of x and g of x as a polynomial, limit x tends to infinity f of x by g of x is equal to 0 if degree of denominator is greater than degree of numerator and that is equal to infinity if degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator and that is equal to finite quantity if the degree of numerator is same as degree of denominator, this is an important shortcut. I hope you got confused enough here. Make a note of this. Look at this. Limit, limit, x tends to infinity. Limit, x tends to infinity. f of x over g of x limit x tends to infinity f of x over g of that is equal to 0 when it is equal to 0 is a question d students. It is equal to 0 and it is equal to infinity. It is equal to finite quantity. When it is equal to 0 is a question here. That is equal to 0 if, if degree of f of x if, if I say d of f of x, that degree of f of x is less than degree of f of d g of x. Degree of x is less than degree of g of x. 
if the reverse degree of f of x is greater than degree of g of x. It is equal to a finite quantity if degree of f of x is equal to degree of g of x. Do not get confused with the word domain here. It is just a word called degree. Degree of f of x and degree of g of x. So, with this knowledge we can talk about the answers. But however, remember this dear students. So, here if it is finite, if degree of f of x is same as degree of g of x, if degree of f of x is equal to degree of g of x, then if you call a as a limit, then a is equal to same degree means a is equal to a by a dash. What is a? a is the coefficient of highest degree term in numerator divided by coefficient of once again even though it is highest degree term same degree term as numerator coefficients of it is a ratio of coefficients of highest degree term in the numerator and denominator respectively. Now look at this dear students 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n this is nothing but equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Is that correct? Therefore, n into n plus 1 by 2, let me write the value of b here. b is, numerator is n into n plus 1 by 2. What is its power? Power of numerator is 2. What is the power of denominator? That is also 2. Power of degree of numerator is same as degree of denominator. Answer should be coefficient of highest degree term in the numerator by coefficient of highest degree term in the denominator. Denominator coefficient is 1, numerator coefficient is 1 by 2. So, that is equal to 1 by 2 divided by 1. That is definitely equal to 1 by 2. Do you agree with me? So, the value of b is nothing but equal to 1 by 2. So, a is 1 by 2 and so b a is equal to 1 by 2 and b is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, option a is correct. See how simple it is. Maybe I have taken lot of time to explain you this, but the intention is very simple. I wanted to make you the things very, very clear. So, I have explained two things here. The first one is sin x tends to x when x tends to 0. So, degree of numerator is same as degree of denominator when n tends to infinity. The answer is finite and that is equal to the coefficient of highest degree terms in numerator and denominator ratio respectively. Got it? Now, let us go to the next problem. Let f of x is equal to x square minus 1, 0 less than x less than 2, 2x plus 3 for 2 less than or equal to x less than 3. The quadratic equation whose roots are limit x tends to 2 minus f of x, limit x tends to 2 plus f of x is option a x square minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0, option b is x square minus 7x plus 8 is equal to 0, option c is x square minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 0 and option d is x square minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. Students, it is most common that you will get a problem which is a mixture of two or three chapters. In this chapter, in this question, we will be talking about limits and we will be introducing a concept of quadratic equations also. Coming back, limit x tends to 2 plus means what? You should know this dear students for a value slightly greater than 2. That means to say for all the values of x, for a small value of x greater than or equal to 2, limit x tends to 2 plus means f of 2. So anyway, this concept you would have studied in your school or in 12th standard. Hoping that you have understood that we are discussing this question. Limit x tends to 2 minus. 2 minus is, do you agree this is the range? That means to say we have to put 2 here, that is f of 2 minus. The meaning of limit extends to 2 minus f of x is same as f of 2 minus. f of 2 minus is 2 square minus 1, 2 square minus 1. What is 2 square? 2 square is 4. 4 minus 1 is what? 4 minus 1 is 3. 
Now, what about f of 2 plus? f of 2 plus is given by this particular thing 2 into 2 4, 4 plus 3 7. Is that correct? 2 into 2 plus 3 that is 7. Now, this is alpha and that is beta. So, alpha is 3 and beta is 7. Alpha is 3, beta is 7. Now, can you tell me dear students, what is the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta? Quadratic equation is given by x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. This is a familiar concept to you dear students. That means to say, I should write x square, x square minus, what is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is 7 plus 3, x square minus 7 plus 3 into x plus, before writing plus, just go to the answers. What we have? Minus 6, minus 7, minus 14, minus 10, therefore option D is correct. But still I am writing 3 into 7. That is x square minus x square minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0 and we got the confirmation plus 21. Therefore, option D is correct. See how simple the problem is. Got it? Yeah, make a note of this. We shall go to next problem. Mm -hmm.